if you recognize this area. That's uh, Camp Woodward or Woodward Park City. Um, now, I've been to Woodward, Pennsylvania when I was a little kid. It's like Disneyland for extreme sport athletes. This is kind of coincidental. I timed my trip with a dual solemn race and I think they're also doing like a whip off contest. So um, I guess I'm gonna do a solemn race. So I'll probably do the whip off too. Uh, anyways, we're gonna get my bikes up and head up the hill. 26, that's not really good. Oh my God. All right, pet peeve about this one. These two sides should be different colors to distinguish between Presta and Schrader. All right, I think we're all set. What? Oh my God, close. Anyway, <laughs> I think we're all set now. All right, there's a song course. So practice is supposed to go until like 11 and judging by the people registering i think they're gonna have to push that back all right here's on a song course all right that's running pretty good Yo, what's up? Yo, uh, grab a quick left lap uh, down to the salon course. Uh, I will head that way. Okay. What's up, man? Hop on in if you want. Have you guys ever met before? I don't think we've met. No. I've seen plenty of your videos. How often do you guys get out here? Decent, pretty decent amount. Yeah, yeah. We're here, they're here like three days a week in the winter, four days a week. I feel like I actually like to watch snowboard content more than biking content just because i'm around bikes so much yeah i've always watched more snowboard videos than bike videos and bmx i think you're better off not watching a bunch of other mountain bike stuff and you overthink things and then you're like comparing things and then i know originally like i stopped watching a lot of other youtubers just because like i felt like styles were starting to get a little bit homogenous no i mean i've heard that from uh you know stand-up comedians same thing like like you'll subconsciously pick up on someone else's jokes and bits oh that's cool Ooh, that's oh 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 Woo. that went about as good as it could have wow i think the last time we rode together was uh sedona yeah, I think so <laughs> You know what, I didn't even check to see if I'm recording. I hope I am. Oops. Oops. Kids are styling out there. Oh, <laughs> you definitely gotta brake check that one. A little rock movie, that was cool. <laughs> Were you the one that jumped in behind me? Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> No, that was fine. I just like all of a sudden like I heard like some tires and I'm like, is that my bike or is that somebody else? Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, jump in. Man, the way that these are built is really cool because it's like a lot of extra credit lines. Is that the one you brake checked for? That's the one I brake checked for that was, uh, that's a, it's a hair on the short side for being after that hill. That is uh, in the understatement of the year. Right? <laughs> yeah, you do the countdown. Yeah. I am. So dude. It's good to see you out there. Yeah. Oh, I get to race here again. Oh shoot. <laughs> Bill right here. Where are you guys from? 
Oh no shit, what's you guys? From Vermont. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Vermont and Colorado respectively. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just trying to sabotage your race season. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Nice job at Sugarloaf. Thanks, dude. That was gnarly. All right, so the way Saul normally works is you have two courses. One of them is usually faster than the others. So what you'll do is you'll have a qualifying lap on either side. They so take the total of that time, and that puts you in a ranking with all the other riders. From there, they create brackets from the top rider all the way down to the last place qualifier and how they set it up they have fastest rider going against the slowest rider and the second fastest rider going against the second slowest rider and so forth that way the person who qualified first has the greatest chance of making it to the finals and the second fastest qualifying person has the second greatest chance of making it to the finals it's there is background music playing so if you hear me playing some other music on top of this video it's for that reason. I don't want to get copyright strikes. <laughs> copyright strikes are bad, okay? Cool. <laughs> all right. Oh, I forgot to put my goggles on, but it's all right. So I mentioned this kind of... <laughs> I'm gonna talk really loudly to hopefully drown out the noise, um, but it looks like I qualified fourth or something. It's hard to tell with how the brackets are set up. So we're gonna head up and do our actual race run. So we're gonna start off with 30 seconds of a final and work our way to the finals. <laughs> So now we're gonna do uh, our second round of 30 seconds of a final. So racing against the same guy. Um, and that's because you have to do a lap on either course to make sure it's fair. That turns pretty easy to come out wide of. I almost went over that berm. Nice. <laughs> I, I don't know. I had to break a lot into that. But. Maybe I'll, we'll catch up for some party laps. Yeah, let's do it. 76 to 32. Yeah, man, my chain jumped off the idler. Let me fix that real quick. What's your name, man? I'm Fred. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. All right, so Fred has agreed to a coast lap. Dude, that was so much fun. Yeah. You know if anyone here has a set of Allen keys? You're gonna have to go to the, the red shed down there. I should be able to get it like, like I, I got it on the wheel, but it was, it's a narrow wide. Yeah, so, so you gotta get it right tooth. Yeah, and I got it on the wrong set of teeth. It's just a huge pain in the butt right here. I've never had an issue with this. Not right, super. Am I racing you?
Easy man. Woo! Now you got your heart going. That was Sam Eyes. Coming up to the finals. How tired are you? <laughs> Good luck, man. I think it's sketchier. Both sides are equally sketchy. Yeah. What's the point? <laughs> Yo, what was your name? Dylan. Dylan, nice to meet you, man. Pleasure, brother. Get it. Get it. Let's go. I think you had a bigger wind, right? Oh, maybe. Good work, too. That's sick. All right, you took me. Sweet. You got me. Uh, nice job, man. Brother. That was a good one. Place. I'm probably gonna butcher your last name. Phil Metz. Phil Metz. No K in there. Phil Metz. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is. The top dogs. How many people work here? That we buy. I think. Is it just pretty busy like in summer camp season? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You know, midweek is relaxed generally except camps. Right? Yeah. Like this year we did 10 weeks of camp and yep. it's all busy. <laughs> is there only one way down there? Is there? No, we can, uh, yeah, we'll switch it up. Nope. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. What? Oh, I need to do this one again. Some of those like transfer lines are cool. Yeah. That little sneaky one is one of my favorites. Did they do the riders meeting for the whip off? Yes. further I can go. Yeah. You good? Yeah. It's hard. Redemption on the receiver right now. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. Don't get a chance to do them that often. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head down and uh, go do some fun laps. Uh, the GoPro Max for my birthday. It's between that or the 11. If I had to make a suggestion, I feel like the Insta 360, the new one might be a better bet. It's the uh, Insta, dude, their names suck. I think that might be your best bet if you want a 360 cam. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so yeah, there's a little bit of a gap down there that we're gonna check out. I've never looked at it. He says he's never hit it, so. <laughs> this could be very interesting. It doesn't look too bad though. Woo! Money. 
<laughs> what is this? <laughs> I had no idea what we're coming up on. Whoa, 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 whoa. That tree. That tree is definitely rideable somehow. All right, that's a cool feature. Just, yeah, it was a good idea. Oh my god! Alright, so down there I go left to get to the big jumps. Yeah. Yeah. Woohoo! Oh! I jumped so short after those. <laughs> that big step or the big one. Did you say it was easy to end up in a drainage ditch? Yeah. Yeah, you're hundred percent right. Mm -hmm. I, I landed so far left. It was scary. I forgot that piece of advice until I landed. <clears throat> Whoops, hard mode. Wow, this is cool. The dead reckoning, the black one. Yeah. It doesn't have any wooden lips or drops, but it's all like really big doubles. Okay, pretty like predictable. I personally don't know. Eric has ridden it a lot. He likes it. He says it's a good trail. All right, I trust his skill set, and I feel like I'd be able to read a trail on the fly. Yeah. One warning I'll give you is for me personally, I feel like it's hard. Some of the jumps come pretty soon out of corners. Okay. So, you want to do that one? Hi, right, man. Let's do this. All right, dead reckoning. Oops. Oh, this trail is so cool. I can't pedal. Lost my ability. To make speed. Yeah, I must have dropped my chain. So we're all coasting from here. They have some sick trip ones on this trail. Woo. Woo. Wait. I thought that was a double. Oh. Wait, so you went off that? I doubled into that. Oh, I'm fine. We'll find out. We'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I have to warn you about this section. Oh, it's all right. Getting pedal again. Well, 
how was Dead Reckoning? Sick. I'm yeah. so glad we did that. Me too. How did you feel on it? I felt really good, except that one long and low I pointed out when we stopped. I don't remember which one that was, like, because they didn't really stand out to me. And But like, there was one that was pretty big. They're definitely, yeah. So I'm going to assume it was that one. Probably. Anyway, man, I'm going to head out. I'm beat. Yeah, I am too. Thank you for showing me around. This yeah, has been thanks. awesome. Thank you for riding with me. There's a lot of like really cool options here, and this place is only growing, so... It's always amazing what you can do with only 300 feet of elevation. Knowing what I know about Woodward, it's going to change a lot in the next few years, so... Anyways... This is where I'm going to end off the video. Thanks uh, for sticking around, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!